So here we have the Volkswagen Tiguan on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the far left-hand side, we have the cool and temperature gauge, followed by the rev counter, then the speedometer and fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. In the middle at the bottom, you can see the total mass of the car, which are 6,606. You can change the layout uh, of the dials uh, by pressing buttons on the steering wheel. So as you can see, various different ways in which you can have that screen laid out. And not only that, but ways in which you can customise the screen as well. So for example, you might decide you want a speedometer in the central section just there. You can do that. There are other menus available. So vehicle status, your phone, uh, you've got uh, the different views, as I mentioned already, but through the middle there, uh, navigation, assist systems, and driving data. Uh, all the buttons for doing that are over on the right-hand side of the steering wheel just here. We've got stereo controls there as well, which continue on the left-hand side. This button will turn the cruise control on and off again. Once the cruise control is on, hit this button in the middle. This car is able to maintain its own uh, distance between itself and the car in front. It will speed up and slow down automatically depending on the car in front's speed. Over here, you can always put the car in R mode as well. So I've pressed that button. You might have just about heard the exhaust note change from inside the car here. Um, but it will change the setup of the car, which I'll run through a bit in a bit more detail in a moment. But um, we've also got this minus and plus paddle that is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox, should you wish to. Over in the centre, we then have the touchscreen for the car. So up on the top right hand side there, we've got the radio. This car has got DAB, FM and internet radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via Bluetooth audio. Once you've paired your phone, of course, or you can uh, set up your own playlist. So under the My Media heading, you're able to put your own music in there if you wish to do that. You can pair your phone under the phone heading. If I put the car into reverse, you'll also see we have a full color reversing camera. This car's got satellite navigation. It's accessed via these buttons just here. There's a full video showing how that works on our website and YouTube channel. Working our way down from that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed either by swiping your finger or by tapping the plus minus buttons just there. Once you're happy with those settings, you can turn the air conditioning on or off again. We have a heated driver seat and heated passenger seat, both with three different heat settings on each as well. Underneath that section, we have two USB-C inputs and a 12 volt charging socket the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. This button just here will turn on and off the electronic handbrake. We've got auto hold function. We can turn on the traction control. That button at the top will start and stop the engine incidentally. If I move the gear lever out of the way, you can see we've got stop and start. You can turn that off. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when this light shows. We can turn the parking sensors on and off. And this button in the middle here will turn on the autonomous parking. So this car is able to park itself. Uh, follow the instructions up on screen. Again, we've done a couple of videos showing how that works as well. And then finally, this dial just here will enable you to put the car into snow, um, race mode as well, all weather, and then expert driving. You can change any of these modes you wish to. That button in the middle uh, will bring the information up on the screen just here. So you can either change it with the dial or on the screen should you wish to do that. The last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roofs. There's a button up here that will open up the sun blind. Give that a push. The sun blind will then open to the back of the rear seats. Obviously you can leave it like that and that will let in a lot of extra light as you can see for yourself. Or you can open this front section as a proper sliding sunroof. Uh, and again, that'll open over the top of the rear section. And as you can see, that's quite a big area that it opens up there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.